On Monday, Wisconsin Assembly and Senate committees dealing with labor approved a 13-week extension of unemployment benefits, funded by $89 million from the federal government. This extension for me to vote on this is a no-brainer. And this whole issue of some people thinking it's an entitlement, no, it's not an entitlement like yourself. A number of people want to work because this whole thing about people wanting to extend unemployment just so that they can get the benefits. If you ask people who are unemployed whether they would prefer to pick up an unemployment check or have their check from their jobs, I have no doubt that they would say they would rather have their full checks from the jobs and, and go to their jobs on a daily basis. There was only one lawmaker who voted against the motion, Representative Chris Kapinga. He said there's no such thing as free money from the federal government and pointed out the federal government is currently over $14 trillion in debt. We have $89 million that this is going to cost us and we have to get that money from somewhere and right now the federal government does not have that money. It is going to be additional debt. Kappinga said states have a responsibility in addressing the federal debt crisis. Yeah, it's a, it's a huge impact. If you look at our budget, a significant part of our budget is federal dollars. So if all of a sudden the federal government starts having problems, the state's going to have to deal with that. And we need to be responsible with that money. For the McIver Institute, I'm Bill Osmolsky.